And you see what sneaks up into my house? Do you see what sneaks up into my house? And what does he have here? Wedding gift. A wedding, oh, a, a wedding gift. That was been years ago, man. Hey, I, I was saving for it. You are really <laughs> late. You are really late. I was saving for this it. Is, so this is our anniversary gift? Yeah, it's the wedding anniversary gift. Mexican Pell L. <laughs> Dos Equis. Mexican Pell like L. And if you don't love it, I don't want it. But, but here, so it must be so good you're getting rid of it. Huh? I, I thought, you know, my best pals deserve the best. It was so delicious <laughs> that you've got to get rid of it with citrus hops. And, and I see that it's got a hollow spot here. Well, oh, it's got what? two hollow spots you here. Know, yeah, you know what happened is that uh, they, I didn't have all the money. So I got, I got as much as I could get out of yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> I have a feeling I know where those two went. <laughs> Well, yeah, well, you cannot be. They say it's called fire ant something or another. I forgot. What you What'd you say? It. You say it kills fire ants. <laughs> <laughs> So we're about to head to Bonham, Texas. It's late in the evening, but um, I found a topper for my truck, like a fiberglass topper. My Tundra has a bed cap right now, and that thing is so heavy. It was so heavy that the, even the mounts where the little hydraulic cylinder assist mount ripped off of it because I guess it's just too much of a load for them. And uh, I'm so tired of that thing. It's going to break my arms one of these days. I have to put a stick under it. Man, if that stick slips, it is like a guillotine. Yep. And it's hard to get up in the truck bed. Those Tundras already have a real deep bed to them. And then that truck's a four-wheel drive on top of that. With that bed cap, you can't get up in there to the front of the bed. At least with the topper, I can crawl on up in there. With the bed cap, I couldn't. I could send the micro mini machine. She could climb up in there, but I couldn't. So, um... I found a used one because, man, you, those things are like, for my particular truck, man, they're like three grand or more for the one I want for my truck. So I found this one for 1300 and it already has another rack on top of it that's kind of expensive, too, that I really like. So I'm getting a bonus on top of that. And it's hard to find one that fits that short five and a half foot bed on my truck for that Crew Max. It has to be for that truck only. Well, we better go get it. And he's getting another bonus by having the Kenyan escort him. Man. Security, you see right here. These guns right here. Guns? Yeah. If we, had, happening with these guns. if we had to define that as a gun, <laughs> this would be a 50 cal, and that would be a BB gun. Yep. And that's a blow dart. <laughs> well, we're going to get out of here. Let's go. No, I'm not going to be drinking and driving. Let's just get this straight. I'm just admiring the beauty of the bottle. Well, Mel's not just cleaning out the truck bed. She's cleaning it out for a purpose. Ain't that right, babe? Mm -hmm. we, we bought something, and uh, we're pretty excited about it. Let me show you. The truck had this bed cap on it. Man, this thing was heavy. Those assist little shock things always going out. And uh, plus the gel coat was all cracked up on it. Look at that. Look how the gel coat just cracked. And man, it's an eyesore too. So we like to go camping. We like to hit the road, don't we, babe? Yeah, we love to travel. And man, sometimes taking a big old camper and all, it's just too much. It puts a lot of work into it. So we have that SUV over in the Philippines, that Toyota Hilux Surf, which its little cousin in the U.S. is a, a Toyota 4Runner. But we, we hit the road in that thing, and we do little weekend excursions and all in it, and it, it works for us, right? Yeah, it works. So we can get away. we're like, man, why don't we just keep it simple here in Texas, too? So we got online, and we found this 
we found this A-R-E uh, topper right here. And this is like the top of the line version. The window slides open in the middle. This whole side right here opens. You can get access in. It's all carpeted, lights, everything inside of it. It already has roof rack and deflector on it. So that's not all. It it has this sliding glass window in the front, but we're probably going to remove this entire window because on our truck, that whole back glass opens up. Yeah, on our truck, that whole back window drops down. And so you can get a boot and put between the truck right here and there. And when you let that back window down, your heat, your air can go all the way through. And even Melinda... She can crawl all the way through. Yeah, Maybe for me, I might be stuck halfway. <laughs> 911, what's your emergency? <laughs> uh, for me, it's easy. Yeah, for you, it's easy. And these Toyota Tundras have a really deep truck bed. And uh, with that camper on there, it should be a lot of space. So what we're wanting to do is kind of like a Overland vehicle, Overland truck. Um, this is a 4x4 Crew Max Tundra with that 5.7 liter. It's the, the off-road version. And man, I think it'll be great. We're just going to uh, do trips and just hopefully it'll all work out. And put us a bed back here in the back. Probably put it up on the sides above that fender well. It's got places already made to like wedge wood across there. Cut a sheet of plywood. We can still slide stuff underneath, but we can just pull over and rest when we want to rest. That's right. You know, we don't need to spend the money for the room. All right, for a room. I mean, you see, when you travel, you can also put a solar, small solar. Yeah, yeah, that's right. We could put us uh, uh, maybe a small solar panel up there and maybe like a, just put us a good inverter. We have that one inverter here already that we're always using. That would come in handy. I mean, yeah, you can build a fire or burn a little gas deal, but, man, if you just had the little power of that inverter, just a small one, there's a lot you could do with it. Yeah, small solar that you can also, what do you call it, a small electric fan, you know? Mm -hmm. Operate a small electric fan if you need it. Yeah, you know what? I have a couple of those 12 volt electric fans that you wouldn't even have to run it through an inverter. So I'm glad you mentioned that because I have them right over here in the shed and I'll mount them up in the corners of this thing. So, yeah, sure will. And we have like that boiling kettle we just bought. We could take it with us, uh, instantly boil water as we need it, anything like that. So that's what we're looking forward to. We want to hit the road, and I don't mean just hit the road like a couple hundred miles. We might hit the road like a couple thousand miles because that's one of the things that just gets so costly pulling a big fifth wheel trailer, and it's just a pain. So there's another funny thing here. Let's talk about downsizing, right, Mel? So in the beginning, Mel and I, we bought a toy hauler travel trailer, didn't we? Yeah. And uh, we didn't like it, did we? We don't like it because it's, uh, like you said, you know, it's pain. has to carry it. <laughs> <laughs> so Melinda said it was a pain in the butt to be carrying that thing. It was. It And, and then whatever you hauled inside of it, it got fumey. And, yes, you can buy those big high-dollar ones with a separated compartment and all that. But ours wasn't so huge to have all that. I think it was like a 24-footer or something like that. Anyway, we didn't like it. We didn't like it. We thought we was going to like it. We bought it. We fell out of love with it really quick. So then we thought, okay, we're going to change up the game. We're going to pull a trailer and have a camper on the truck. So on our Duramax, we drove all the way down outside of Houston, Texas, and picked up an overhead camper. Well, that thing's as bad as pulling a fifth wheel. It's so much wind drag on it. It was so much work taking it on and off the truck. That's right. Oh, my God. It was just like, uh, 
it was no different than pulling a fifth wheel. So then here we go again. We we sell we sell the toy hauler. Then we sell the camper. And what did you say we got? Fifth wheel. Yeah, so then we bought a big fifth wheel. And again, we got to use it a little bit and decided it was too much, right? Too much big. I mean, we don't need to pull a whole house down the road. <laughs> yeah, it's more pain us than the first one. Yeah, absolutely. Time. And and the thing is, is once again, now you can't pull like if you want to bring your boat or things like that. You know, I don't end you know, up hooking up and, and running tandems and stuff like that. So we still have the fifth wheel. We do. And we can still pull it with the Duramax. If there's somewhere we might want to go do a long stay, we can still take it, couldn't we? Mm -hmm. But for these quick trips, man, we decided just a topper. Plus, even when we're not using it, that bed cap on this truck was a pain in the butt, as Melinda said also. <laughs> and... uh so Not now, work even just to hook, you know. Yeah. Just even just to hook with one. So we got trailers. We can pull the boat, or we can pull one of the trailers and carry the ATVs, things like that. So I think this is definitely going to work better for us. And like I say, on this particular endeavor, it's it's just a, a topper. So no matter what, it can just stay on the truck. Because we like the fact of being able to put our stuff, even when we go to a store in the back, close it, lock it, it's in the dry, and uh, don't have to worry about a rain coming or somebody stealing something out of the back of your pickup. So I think this one's going to be a winner no matter what. And we look for one of these secondhand for, my God, what, a couple of years now, hadn't we? Never can find one that fits my truck because it only can fit a certain year model and only this Crew Max truck right here so it was very limited out there to find a second hand one so when this one came online for sale up in oklahoma or right at the oklahoma texas border we jumped in the truck and we got there and we got it and i'm happy for it so what do you guys think about it what's your experiences dealing with campers travel trailers uh, using a topper like this tell us your experiences tell us what you found to enjoy best uh, and and the annoyances you had of using one also. Share with us and comment and tell us your stories and what you found to work best for you. We would love to hear the feedback. may inspire somebody else to make a decision if they're looking at doing the same thing, right? You have something to comment? Just... It's simple for us. It's just the two of us, and we found we don't need a whole lot. But comment. And comment below. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we look forward to hearing from you all.